Hey, how you doing, everybody? This is Christopher Marsh, Third Avenue. How you doing? <laughs> Spooky night tonight. Oh, hell is Eve. Eve. <laughs> How have you been? No, I haven't made a video in quite some time. I've been a little preoccupied with different things. Excuse me. So, I've got some creepy stories to tell you. What I'm about to tell you is true. Everything that I'm about to tell you is true. And I do mean everything. <laughs> I was raised in a predominantly Christian home like many of you, but uh, my genes are not exactly Christian. My grandfather's grandma was a witch. <laughs> and this was so oh, 1800s or something. So, so she wasn't one of those sort of neo-pagan types. She was the real deal. So she practiced witchcraft and astrology and all that kind of stuff. I don't know too much about her, but I find it very interesting. I remember I saw a picture of her. She looked like uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> anyway. So. It was on my father's side of the family. And my great grandpa Royer, my mom's grandfather, was a heretic. He was visited by a spirit who told him something about stay in the light or something like that. <laughs> so. Sometimes when he'd go to church, he'd stand up and argue and yell and say, that's all crap, blah, 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 blah. And I guess people didn't like that. Anyway, but uh, my grandma and grandfather were Christians, so apparently Grandpa Royer's philosophy didn't stick with them. So... But, uh, some, uh, peculiar things happened. My great, uh, grandfather's funeral. Apparently, <laughs> his good friend was some guy named Oberon. He didn't have a last name, it just went by Oberon. Sounds kind of witchy, doesn't it? 
So, and his last words were, I may be gone, but I can still see the light. <clears throat> and he wrote some books about his uh, <clears throat> religion, whatever that is. <laughs> so, at the funeral home where they were having a wake, my Uncle Stanley went there, and apparently there were paintings flying off the walls and dishes smashing into things and chairs falling over and plates flying into the wall and paintings falling down and windows cracking and other strange stuff. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so somebody was talking to my Uncle Stanley and said, well, yes, Grandpa Royer, he was a very spiritual guy then my St uncle Stanley said oh yes he was spiritual all right <laughs> which reminds me of another spooky story about my family I went uh, to see my uh, uncle's funeral and uh, the night that he died which was a couple of days before they had the viewing somebody knocked on my grandma's front door at 3 a.m. And it knocked on the door ten times. <laughs> ten times at three in the morning. Nobody went to answer the door. <laughs> but it's very peculiar that he died that night. <laughs> so, now, let's get to the real scary stuff. Or more scary stuff. I went to school in Bellingham, which is a very spooky, haunted city. Ted Bundy used to hang out over there. He used to hang out at this place called the Waterfront, along with the Hillside Strangler. Hillside Strangler also hang out, hung out there. And, uh... Apparently, Gary Ridgway used to hang out there. And the DC Sniper hung out there, too. And Bellingham is a very strange place. You don't want to be there when it gets dark. The whole place takes out a creepy, ominous feeling. There's definitely a scary foreboding feeling out there. Now I've walked the streets around New York City and LA before by myself and I felt safe and I was fine. But I walked around Bellingham at night and there and even though it's a pretty safe place, I felt pretty scared. I could sense that there was somebody walking around behind me even though no one was there. So and I stayed at an apartment, and one night, of course I stayed at an apartment, I stayed at a few, few apartments, but this one night, there was this one apartment I stayed at, and it was a dark, stormy night, and a white light came out of my phone for no reason, made some funny sounds, and then the storm was like, <laughs> and the... <sighs> Radiator started shaking. And then I heard a crackling. 
and I heard moaning from the hallway. And I was like, and footsteps. I had no idea what it was. And the moaning got loud, and everything was, and the ventilator was shaking more. <laughs> anyway, I said a bunch of Bible verses in my head. Wow, the storm was raging, and things were falling off the shelves, and things were clattering, and the next day, it was all okay. I think it was demons passing through. Anyway... So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed all those scary stories. <laughs> and I hope you're all doing well. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Ta-ta. Bye-bye. <laughs>